Уважаемый господин государственный секретарь, коллеги, мы признательны вам за предложение провести встречу в Женеве в контексте работы, которая началась над предложениями о гарантиях безопасности. State Secretary, colleagues, we are very grateful to you for this proposal to hold talks in Geneva in the context of the work that was started on the security guarantees. Когда вы позвонили мне по телефону и предложили встретиться для того, чтобы вы могли более четко прояснить наши озабоченности, мы сочли это полезной идеей, поскольку рассчитываем, что она поможет вам подготовить конкретные ответы на все наши предложения и внести свои контрпредложения, если у вас таковые есть. When you made the phone call to me and proposed that we meet to achieve greater clarity with regard to our concerns, we believed that to be a very good idea because we believe that it would help you come up with concrete answers to our concerns, to our proposals, and if need be, to come up with counter proposals. Мы прочли вчера и сегодня огромное количество материалов, которые подготовил государственный департамент относительно того, что вы назвали дезинформацией России в огромном масштабе. Я с интересом ознакомился с этими работами. Надеюсь, что кто-то в государственном департаменте был в них не занят и сконцентрировался все-таки на сути наших предложений, которые мы вам передали. Yesterday we spent a great deal of time to familiarize ourselves with the large a body of information prepared by State Department about Russia's alleged misinformation. It is with great interest that I read them, but I do hope that not everyone in the State Department was working on those materials, and there were some who worked on the essence of our proposals, on their substance. И последнее, что я хочу сказать, вы упомянули в одном из недавних ваших заявлений в ходе европейского турне, что от этой встречи вы не ждете прорыва. Мы тоже не ждем прорыва от этой встречи, мы ждем ответов на наши предложения. Предложения предельно конкретные, и ожидаем таких же конкретных ответов в русле и в полном соответствии с теми обязательствами, которые были приняты на высшем уровне в рамках ОБСЕ по проблемам неделимости безопасности, чтобы ни одна страна не укрепляла свою безопасность за счет безопасности любой другой страны. Мне очень будет интересно услышать, как Соединенные Штаты трактуют эти свои обязательства. So, um, I heard one of your last statements during your European tour when you said that you did not expect a breakthrough from these negotiations. We do not expect a breakthrough at these negotiations either. What we expect is concrete answers to our concrete proposals in the vein and in compliance with the obligations that were adopted at the highest level within the OEC. I refer in particular to the principle of the indivisibility of security as well as the obligation of countries not to strengthen their own security at the expense of security of others. We would very much uh, be interested to listen to how the U.S. interprets these obligations and these principles. Thank you, and once again, I'm very glad to see you. Sergey, thank you uh, very much. It's, uh, it's good to see you as well, uh, and uh, I appreciate this opportunity uh, for all of us to get together. This is uh, part of an ongoing effort uh, to de-escalate tensions and to prevent further Russian aggression uh, against Ukraine. Um, I come from consulting with uh, allies and, and partners, uh, as well as uh, from Ukraine itself. Uh, that, too, uh, is part of uh, an ongoing effort to work closely, uh, coordinate with, consult with all of our allies and partners who share uh, our deep concerns about the moment we're in. Um, we are, all of us, uh, equally committed uh, to um, the path of diplomacy and dialogue to try to resolve our differences. But we're also committed, if that proves impossible, and Russia decides to pursue aggression against Ukraine, uh, to a united, swift, and severe response. Um, I do want to take this opportunity uh, to share directly uh, with you uh, the common view uh, of uh, allies and partners, as well as concrete ideas 
uh, to address some of the concerns that you've raised, uh, as well as uh, the deep concerns that many of us have uh, about Russia's actions. Um, I'll also make clear the fundamental principles that we are committed to defend. Um, I also want to say, Sergey, that uh, uh, we uh, need to talk about uh, two U.S. citizens, Paul Whelan and Trevor Reed, uh, who were tourists in Russia, uh, were arrested, uh, convicted without credible evidence, and we again ask Russia to do the right thing and uh, let them come home. But the bottom line is this. Uh, this is a critical moment. Um, you're right. Uh, we don't expect to resolve our differences here today, but I do hope and expect that we can test whether the path of uh, diplomacy, a dialogue, uh, remains open. We're committed uh, to uh, walking that path and to resolving our differences uh, peacefully, uh, and I hope we can test that proposition today uh, and see where we go from here. Thanks for being here.